This is David Scott Peters with TheRestaurantExpert.com with today's quick tip. You want seven simple ways to reduce your food cost? How about we start with recipe costing cards? That includes all of your batch recipes, every sauce, side dish, soup, anything that you make from scratch. We've got to do those first. And then recipe costing cards for every item you sell on your menu, even if it's not on the menu. If you sell a tamale, a, a taco a la carte, I need to have, what, a recipe costing card. Well, that's heavy lifting. How about some easy things? How about a key item report for reducing theft in my kitchen, where I'm simply counting what I start with, adding what I prep or purchase. At the end of the shift, I should know how many I have, right? Then I go to the POS system. I find out how many I sold. The arithmetic tells me I should have X on the shelf. Then I take my butt into the kitchen, count, and they should match. If they don't match, I've got a problem. Hopefully, they're not stolen. Hopefully, they're on a way sheet. A way sheet is another system that can help. This is where we mark down everything that gets wasted, whether it's dropped on the floor, it spoils, somebody double orders, or something gets burnt. This is a proactive management tool that helps us what? Stop making the same mistakes we made yesterday, tomorrow. The same mistakes we made today, tomorrow. This way we get a grasp of where our food costs are and control them day after day after day instead of making the same mistake 45 days in a row until I get my food costs from my accountant and I realize I made a mistake. It's too late to fix it. What about buying better? If I could get a descending dollar report from my vendors and I look at my top 10 items, that's about 80% of my purchasing. Maybe by promising to buy more from them, they'll give me a better price. Or they have a like quality product or better quality product with no marketing dollars on it that I could reduce my costs overnight without reducing the quality of that product. Portion controls. Look, if you've got white space on a plate, all too often a cook fills it. And that's not always a good thing. Think about it. If you have a recipe card that calls for five ounces of french fries, but because there's white space on the plate and somebody uses their hand instead of a vessel that makes sure that five ounces are on the plate every single time and put three more ounces on the plate because it looks better, we're losing money hand over fist even though they're french fries. Everything matters. What about deliveries? Are you double checking for catch weights? temperatures, damaged goods, that you're getting the price that you were promised? Are you getting those things changed? And then are you asking if you got a credit, your salesperson to give you that credit? All too often they sit in a bucket on their computer and you never see them even though they've been given to you. But ultimately, the big one, if I have recipe costing cards and I've got a point of sale system, I can create an item by item sales mix report, add that data to it, and I can tell you exactly what your ideal food cost is. If your kitchen operated perfectly, no waste, no theft, no spoilage, by the way, perfect restaurant does not exist, but you know, I would know exactly where my food cost should be. Now, if I'm not happy with what that is, I can re-engineer my menu because I know what I should merchandise to get them to buy. I know what items to get rid of, what changes I need to make, whether it's reduce portion sizes or costs of an item or reimagine that dish. I could find three, five, even seven points the first time I do a menu engineering job because why? It's the first time you're looking at it using your numbers, not just your gut. Take advantage of those items, those quick tips I've given you, and you can reduce your food cost overnight.